Hello, my my lovely crafty people. Are you there? I'm here. <laughs> my name is Yana. You're watching Finnish Knitting Stories, episode number 66. I'm here in my craft room on this lovely Friday afternoon, actually already evening. It's half past five in the evening, yeah. And I have had a very busy week, actually very busy two weeks, and I'm very happy to be here just to sit down and talk to you and just to have our our usual Friday chat. For a moment, I thought it's not going to happen today. There is no chance, but then, yeah, everybody's home. My husband took the kids out. They are putting a trampoline together behind the house. So if you can hear dog barking, <laughs> that's our dog. And actually, neighbor is cutting wood, but I hope Mike doesn't pick pick up on those noises. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice once again. Uh, <laughs> so, you can find me on Instagram, Eskittonitz, and on Ravelry, Eskittonitz, and all the important information is in the description box down below. If you enjoy my chit chats, please like and subscribe. And where do I even begin? It's been two weeks since my last regular pot, since any kind of video on this channel. And I really don't know, where do I even begin? What if we just start with the knits, with the knits, and then go into everything else? Slowly. Okay. Let's start with finished objects. I have two finished objects this week. This week? Yeah, these past two weeks. I have been knitting all sorts of things a little bit here and there. Now I realized I forgot to bring one thing, but we will we will pick it. <laughs> I'll go fetch it later. I, I just sat down. I don't want to leave yet. Okay. Um, that's later, if I remember. I'm all over the place. Business as usual. Nothing new. I'm all over the place. But let's start with the finished objects. Let's start with my big, big, scrappy, beautiful finished object, which is my Myra dress. My Myra dress by Vera Valimaki. You can find it in Vera's book Stripes, or if you have Finnish version, it's called Raidat. Uh, this is covered in hair. My hair, dog hair, because I've been actively wearing it. I wanted to put it on today, but... I can't. It's it's more than 20 degrees outside. It's more than 20 Celsius at, outside. I would be boiling in this. But I have managed to wear it quite much since I finished it. That's the back. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. I, I managed to finish it before the yarn event last Saturday. Like, I went to a yarn event last Saturday and I was wearing it. I will insert some footage somewhere later on or maybe here. I don't know. I think my husband took some footage or at least the pictures. You will you will see me wearing it. But I could not make myself put this on today. It's just so hot. I'm, I'm boiling even in this one. Uh, but yeah, it's fully, fully scrappy. Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm still here. It's long. It's long and it's fully scrappy and it's my second Myra dress. My first one is very classic looking in two tones of beige and this is just mad neon scrappy thing. And I received so many lovely comments. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this, you have seen me wearing this. I received so many comments and messages about this dress. People love it. People are excited. And I happen to have matching boots. Boots came before the dress. I had boots before I even started the dress or thought about the dress. Yeah, but they match perfectly. And I realized that only when I finished the dress that I was looking, what, what am I going to put on my feet wearing it? And I had a perfect, perfect pair of boots to go with it. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm losing voice. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. It's been a very chatty week. Yeah, so I have not scaled it yet. I have no idea what this thing weighs. I'll put it on a screen for you. I'll put it on a scale when I'm done when I'm done recording. But it's it's heavy. It's heavy because I knit it in three strands of fingering, or the black part is one strand of DK and one strand of fingering. So it it weights. A lot and I think mine was size 3 but I will I will add all the details on Ravelry if I 
when I have a moment. This is not yet there, but I will add it there. So my, my Maire is finished and I love it. And now I think I will have to put it away till, till autumn probably because all of a sudden spring came, actually summer came to Finland. So the weather surprised us <laughs> and it's warm now. Okay, that was my first large, large finished object. I have one more. It's much smaller. It's very cute and it was very time consuming to make. Here is a hint. <laughs> Here is a hint of my next finished object. It's one of one of these guys. One of these little guys. Uh, I think in my yeah, in my previous episode I, I showed you this beautiful book by Cynthia Valet. And yeah, and Lina Publishing. And of course I had to I had to make one one of these creatures. Can you guess which one? You probably already know, don't you? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Aggie the sheep. Meet Aggie the sheep. Actually, we're still not sure if her name is Aggie, but in the book, the pattern is Aggie the sheep. Uh, she might get a new name. Sophia has not decided yet on the name, but Sophia will name her because Sophia has claimed this as her own. <laughs> She's not willing to share with me. <laughs> uh, she says that it's only her sheep. Okay, yeah, I agree. <laughs> she asked for a sheep. I made her a sheep. It's mostly according to pattern. It's very cute. It has safety eyes, little ears. I love the hair and I love the hooves. Look, it's tiny, <laughs> tiny feet. Uh, I made mine in fingering weight yarn, just white finish sheep wool. This is the leftover from a hundred gram skein. It's a farm yarn from Rindalandila. Yeah, just non superwash, hundred percent finish sheep wool. I think in the pattern asked for tuku wool, but I did not have white tuku wool, so it doesn't really matter. It's almost same stuff. This is what, what I have left after making this. And then the brown yarn is just some random merino scrap yarn left over. It's actually my own hand dyed. It's called Coffee Time. Uh, and outfit. I made the outfit. I love her so much. She's adorable. <laughs> I think the outfit is my favorite part. Let's let's undress. Let's undress the sheep. But I would say that outfit took me longer than the sheep to make. So yeah, it was very fiddly, <laughs> but so worth it. So worth it. Um, so Aggie has a dress. It's a lovely dress. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Aggie has a bag. Uh, the bag is slightly modified it's not like in a pattern my our bag is shorter than i added this kind of string in a contrasting color to close it it closes there with a there's a little wooden bead that you can close and open that little bag then i added more wooden beads just as a cute little detail and then i found um this is straw it's like a miniature haberdashery. This is like a hat straw and I made a handle or a strap actually. A strap and Aggie wears, wears her <laughs> baggy. Um, Aggie baggy. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, <laughs> she's so adorable. She's look at the little, yeah, I embroider her embroidered her face, nose. I'm not very good at that, but I think it turned out all right. I did stuff it with the white stuffing you can get from a, from a fabric store. I could not use the yarn ends because you could see through the white, the white yarn. And I did not have any white carded wool at home. All my card all my carded wool is of some sort of color. Um, I'm out of white carded wool, so I had to use the, the filling that you use like for pillows. I don't know, some kind of synthetic. I'm slightly upset about that, but 
I had no choice. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then then I made this. This took forever. The vest, the loopy vest. I actually made it twice, <laughs> almost. I was halfway through and then it looked like it's a bit flimsy, that it doesn't have enough volume because I was using this very thin white wool and uh, it, it, it wasn't poofy enough. And then I ripped it back and yeah, you create these loops from inside. It looks like that. And I added a strand of white mohair, just some white drops, kid silk left over. And now it has a, it has a, it has excellent volume. It really looks like <clears throat> like a fleece. <laughs> Aggie can take her fleece off. Uh, it's the only thing that's missing is a button. I did make a, I made a loop for the button, and then I will attach a tiny button here because I could not find my box of miniature buttons. I have miniature buttons, and then I found it. So, but I have not managed to attach it yet. So this is Sophia's sheep. We call her Aggie for now, Agnes, Aggie. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, maybe she will get another name when Sophia, when Sophia decides so. But it's adorable. She's, she's adorable. She's adorable. And I'm very tempted to make something else. I'm thinking a duck. If I can find it quickly, I'll show you the, that's the one I fell in love with. Yeah, here is. Here is Aggie the sheep in the book. I don't know, our dress came out shorter. Or maybe the sheep came out longer. I don't know. I thought my tension was alright. In a book, the dress looks longer, but that's okay. I love Nana. I, I love her. I want to make her or these little guys. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I want to make... And the book is fantastic. It has tutorials on everything. It gives you like lessons if you are just starting out on your animal, on your knit animal journey. This is a great book. Aggie the sheep was not beginner friendly. Uh, the sheep itself, I think, was, but the clothes were, were a bit more challenging. They were like probably intermediate to advanced. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it the sheep was very easy to make. You basically start at the nose and you end up, end up at the hoof. And yeah, very enjoyable. No attaching arms or legs. It was knit in one piece and very, very enjoyable knit. I, I love her so much, so much. And we'll be making more animals in the future. So that's, yeah. She needs a bit of support. She doesn't sit up by herself. But we're, we're good. Okay, sit there. Don't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the sheep. That's my second finished object, and I don't have any other finished objects today. Should we talk about what I'm wearing? You saw this last time, and now I'm wearing it, and it's Peony Sweater by Anna Units, Anna Tanskanen. The pattern is out. I'm glad to announce the pattern is out. It's on Ravelry. It's available both in Finnish and English. Good news, it's in English as well. Uh, I knit from the Finnish version because I tested it for, for Anio and yeah. <laughs> but there is an English version. Uh, and then I'm wearing... Did you spot my beautiful, beautiful necklace? It's by Pinio Design. One of my favorite makers, designers. You know, my knitting rings and all kind of other things that I have made by Pirio. And this is a stitch marker necklace. Can you see those little? No, I always have some stitch markers with me. There are three of them on the ring. I love it so much. Just lately we were going to in-laws and I just grabbed my bag and I didn't think I need a notions pouch. And I was knitting something in a car and I did not have a stitch marker. Luckily, <laughs> Sophia has uh, had her own knitting bag with her and she had a jar, little tin with uh, stitch markers and I had to borrow a stitch marker from Sophia. And then when he came home, she was immediately demanding it back. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and now I have my own, always with me. How cute are these? I love them so much. And this was a gift from Pirio. So, kitos. I love it so much. So, 
on one happy little camper here. Um, yeah, I have had it for a while. It's not like very new, but I just I'm just now showing it to you. Yeah, and I'm wearing my peony. It's lovely and very nice and airy because it was knit on a six millimeter needles and the back is lacy and the, I just have a spaghetti strap dress, linen dress underneath. And it's it's beautiful. It's great over a dress. And probably with a high-waisted skirt as well. I don't own one, but maybe, maybe someday. Um, okay, that was quickly about about my outfit. About my outfit, should we talk about whips? Oh, what I've been working on? I've been working on... Ah, one more thing. Last time, I was wondering, why do I have this here? Because last time, it was damp. And several people asked that, how, how does it look on... When it's on. The hat, the boucle hat that I knit, yeah, I showed it already last time. It was a bit moist and I did not show it on me. And now it's dry and I can show it. And I have actually been wearing it in in the car in the mornings when it has been frosty. So it looks like this silly little hat, and I think I could still make the make it yeah. So like that. And no pattern. I don't have a pattern. I just, I just improvised. <laughs> it's very neony, and now it makes my face look red. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now you know how it looks on me. I brought it here because I promised. <clears throat> okay, now let's go to whips. I have a new cast on because I needed some car knitting. To take with me something small so i just cast on a pair of socks nothing much to show really nothing much to show i just started the heel flap on on the first one i'm knitting them concurrently on a separate separate needles now i'm all tangled here ah, yarn tangle just this is my own hand dyed and i'm just very very simple pair of socks yeah and it's dyed in a way that, like of a plant pooling, basically, that it would pool in a stripe when you knit a sock. Um, just some happy spring colors. In my bag, my birthday puppet. This bag was a gift from a lovely viewer. Thank you once again, Avital, and thank you, Jill, for making these lovely bags. Um, there. Nothing much to show, really. Just a sock. Just a pair of socks that I was knitting in a car while we were traveling. Okay, my second whip is almost ready, but I did not manage to get it ready. <laughs> it's, this, it's this crazy thing. It looks absolutely mad. I just hope it looks, it looks better after blocking. I hope so. It's Mystic Square by James Watt. It looks insane in the screen because... Uh, Camera gives it more contrast than than it has in real life. Any side can be the right side. I have seen I have seamed the sides and the shoulders. I have made the sleeves, and all I have left to do is to pick up the bottom ribbing, knit the bottom ribbing, and then weave in all the ends, and then wash and block it, and that's it. It's done. It's absolutely mad. It's knit in a variety of handspun yarns. Um, the wool, most of the wool is from Lake House Mood. Cat has a lovely store on Etsy. She sells hand dyed yarn and fibers for spinning or felting or whatever you want to do with them. And I had an advent calendar from her a couple of years ago, and then she sent me some fiber as a gift. And I have spun, spun it up. Here's my pink side. <laughs> oh, it looks insane <laughs> but I kind of love it <laughs> kind of love the crazy look and then I'm adding this it was also my handspun it's some sort of merino this is this is from many years ago <laughs> just some purple so I there there it is the sleeves are knit with that and then the bottom ribbing will come as well in that but yeah, Mystic Square by James Watts soon will be ready. Probably next week. Probably next week. Yeah, it 
it looks all right on me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Am I am I brave enough to leave to wear it outside of the house? But anyway, it, it will be a nice garden sweater if nothing else. But we will see. We will see. The pattern was fun because it's like modular. You just all the time pick up and join. Seeming I did not enjoy that much, but you know. But luckily there wasn't much of it. Just two, two tiny side seams and two little shoulder seams. And I did have to... Uh, I closed it up more than the pattern says because mine was just falling off the shoulders. So I, I stitched a couple of centimeters more like close to the shoulders. I still don't know which one is the right side. Could be any. I, there is no difference. Both sides are same. So I can wear it either way. So that's my that's my whip number two. Almost done. Almost done. Next week it will be a finished object. I hope so. Okay. And one more that I want to show you is from the pink book. It's from the pink book. The same cardigan. I'm not going to say it out loud because I can't. I can't. I can't say it. I'll just show you. Oop. My note fell out. So this cardigan. This cardigan by Leila Yang. <clears throat> yes, my notes fell out. Sorry. I'm very noisy today. Um, so that one. And here is my fancy project bag from Ikea. <laughs> from the kitchen section of Ikea. And now I'm trying to... I'll try to pull it out without without disturbing my... Oh no! Oh come on! Guess what? I'm in the middle of the row for some... Ah uh, yeah, now I know why I'm in the middle of the row. I ran out of yarn. I needed to attach a new ball and I didn't go... Okay, how on earth do I show it to you? On the wrong side, and I'm in the middle of the row. Very professional. <laughs> Not that we're professional here. We're just... <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, it's fine. It's fine. Uh-oh. I pulled the stitches already. If only I would have some stitch stoppers around here. I don't. I don't. But, okay. I'll try to be gentle with it. I've made progress on this thing. I have made a big progress on this thing. I've knit the back. I've knit both front panels. Still this... Yeah, basically. I, I joined it to work in the round. I joined to work in the round. I have even made this neck... Band. No, collar. Collar. You call it collar, of course. It had interesting construction with the short rows. And I hope... Yeah, I I think it's going to sit very, very nicely. Very nicely. And I love the look of this thing. And I don't know what else to say. I did have some issues with the pattern. I'm going to tell you I did have some issues with the pattern. And first I thought it's just me, but then I went in Ravelry. I'm not alone. I'm not alone with that. There are other people having exactly the same issues couple of parts are not really clear and if you follow the pattern like to the word you your thing is not gonna look like the one in the pictures um i think it's just about how it's written a couple of bits were very confusing because i understand if i knit it the way it's written it's not gonna look same and then I checked other people's projects and people have misunderstood the pattern because just the same way I was thinking. I even asked for my husband, if you do this and this, what do you think you should like? I was reading him a pattern. What do you think I should do here? Like how many rows I should knit? Because for example, like knit rows, let's say one and two, I don't know, four more times or no, like anyway. It was written in a very confusing way and the tech editor didn't catch it and many people had that issue that they have knitted like the pattern says and that's why their chunky stitch starts somewhere here. And I almost did the same thing but then I was thinking hold on no it probably means another thing. Basically you need to knit less rows there in front 
then the pattern. Kind of the pattern tells you. <laughs> I can't give you an example now. It was there. Hold on. <clears throat> just in case you're knitting that. I'm not giving anything away. I will just tell you the way it was written. Um, uh, la 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 la. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where was it? Hold on. Bear with? Bear with? <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Okay. It says, repeat last two rows another 12 times, which would mean 24 rows. But when you need 24 rows, you end up here with just this plain knit. So I figured it out because also the row count didn't really match. So I figured out what was meant that you need, you need to repeat rows, last two rows for the next 12 rows. So not 24, just 12. Otherwise you get bare boob. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes, you get the... Uh, see what I mean here? This, if I would need 24 rows, my chunky stitch would start here, which is not the look in the picture. And many people knit it like that. Several people have knit it like that. And it looks a bit odd. I don't know. It's a matter of taste, probably. I did not want it to look like that. But it, it, the pattern was really confusing. And my husband agreed with me. I checked. He's a very technical guy. He's an engineer. So when, when somebody tells you repeat last two rows another 13 or 12 times, that means you repeat those two rows another 12 times or 13 times. Not for the next 13 rows. That's how it should have been written. I think that's where the problem comes. Because... Some people have mentioned that it came out too long. Yes, that's how it comes out too long. And your chunky stitch slides down. It starts way lower. Am I confusing you now? Because I think I just confused myself. And now I'm dropping the stitches. But anyway, if you're knitting this, follow your gut. If it feels wrong, it's probably wrong. Just, <laughs> just check with the picture as well, not just the pattern. I checked for errata and there was none for this pattern. There are already yeah, fixings for other patterns, but nothing for this pattern. I don't know, has anybody talked told them that yeah. Anyways, I that was not the only issue I had with the pattern, but it's not a hard pattern. It's just written in a slightly confusing way. That's that's all I want to say here. That just be careful. Just refer to the picture <laughs> that yours looks around same like in the picture and then fix it accordingly. There is nothing complicated about it because the chunky stitch is easy. This is just ribbing and there is some shaping, but it's not a hard pattern. Yeah, it's just you need to follow. <laughs> you need to follow that everything goes according to plan. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, trust your gut with it. Always trust your gut. If it feels that something is not right, probably something is not right. Um, which is a pity because it's in a book. Uh, yes, there. There we are. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to knit it for 26 rows, but then, then my chunky stitch would start under, under my boob. And that's not the look I was going for. Okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it down now, and I'm now covered in mohair. Um, what else? It's been, it's been crazy two two weeks. But let's let's do the giveaway winners. Let's do the one more finished object. Oh look, I forgot to show you a finished object. Franny has a new scar scarf shawl shawl. Franny has a new shawl. Are you warm, Franny? Let's take your raincoat off. She is still wearing the raincoat from our trip because it was raining on our trip, but now it's warm. And I made her, <laughs> on a night before leaving, <laughs> I made her a new, a new shawl that she could, she could wear. 
she would have something new and fancy for for the trip so there is franny la 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 <laughs> um it was funny <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I was I was getting ready for our trip. It was already late at night, and I was packing. And then <laughs> my husband came into the living room, and he was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm putting underwear on a frog." He's like, "Should I be concerned that we have underwear for a frog?" <laughs> I said, "No, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Franny can't go." <laughs> can't go to event wearing a dress and no underpants well hello obviously we have underwear for a frog aggie aggie does not have bloomers yet but i will i will knit her some <laughs> so yeah franny went to travel with us but what i wanted to do i wanted to announce the giveaway winners for wing frogs wink mouth our froggy and piggy make along and i know i'm a week too late because podcast didn't happen last week i will tell you later soon i'll tell you why it didn't happen <laughs> i had t technical issues <laughs> with myself um uh, now somebody is sending me messages my phone is right in there something <sighs> yes so um we drew the winners this morning before school with Sophia. Sophia helped me. There were 64 pictures, excluding mine, 64 photos on Instagram entries for the When Frogs Oink Mal. And we picked three winners, three winners. And I have three prizes. Sit here for a, sit here for a second. Uh, so the first prize will be a set of minis. My own hand dyed pastel beautiful pastel colors and then i add uh, some stitch markers to it and if the winner will want i will to all yeah to the yarn prizes i will add some little things if you have knit a frog i'll add some little accessories for your frog or maybe safety eyes like i have a, i have a bunch of tiny things that i'm i'm glad to share with you so that's first price second yarn price is this these two beautiful skeins it's 50% wool 50% um cotton here is the dyer these are from my stash i have had them in a stash for a while and i have not figured out the use for them so i'm i decided to put them as a price and i can i can deduct them from my stash it's a beautiful summer yarn so you can probably need something summery or more <laughs> or more oh my god or more knitted toys or something else whatever or crochet something with these maybe so these two will be another price and the third price will be a pattern of your choice can be a knit toy or something else doesn't have to be a toy so and sophia picked the winners randomly this morning and i will put put them here you can see the names and the photos of the winners and they will go in order one two three and if you see your name here congratulations and please contact me you can send me an email to finish knitting stories at gmail.com or contact me on instagram better there my rivalry inbox is a total mess i have not been there i have tried to get through it but there is just so much also a bit on instagram because <sighs> It's enough that I'm absent for a couple of days and then it, it, it gets out of hand and then I it takes me forever to tackle it because there there are so many messages. I'm very sorry if you're still waiting for a response. It means I have not seen it yet. If it's something ur urgent, please send me a message again because I'm going backwards very slowly and trying to reply to all the messages that I have in all the different places. But I am behind because because life has been. Life has been. Yeah, so congratulations to the winners and thank you so much for everybody who took part in our fun, very relaxed when frogs oink make along. There were so many cute piggies and froggies and everything. I entered all the posts in everybody. Everybody counts even. Yeah, if you have made it just a bit earlier, there were a few that asked, is this okay? Yes, absolutely okay. If you have made it like this year or <laughs> we're good. Very good. So, so many great frogs. And I will 
when I have a quiet moment, I will show in my Instagram stories s some. Some I will I will add there the the funniest ones. I don't think I can manage to add them all, but I will I will try. <laughs> Anyways, we'll share some some of your makes. Yeah, I managed to make a piggy, which is now I think piggy is in Sophia's room, and a froggy, and yeah, and that was it. I only made two toys. My own did not take part in the draw. Uh, but yes, just some, just some little, little thing, and I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to reward the winners, because, because why not? Because we we share the love here. We share the love. Just some little things. Um, happy mail purchases acquisitions. I have a few because I visited two yarn events this last last week. Last week, and I have have bought some things. I bought some things. Uh, last, let's let's go to knitting chat, and I will tell you what I've have been up to and what's happening. And I don't have a knit. Do I have a knit? I do. This one I haven't showed you because I haven't worked much on it, but I will just work on it now. It's my scoggin. It's my scoggin <clears throat> from the last year's summer. Last year's summer issue of Lina magazine. Um, I'm still working on it very slowly. I had it with me on a trip, but I managed to add a couple of rows, and that's it. And that's it. But I could, I could pick it up now. It could be our knit and chat <laughs> yarn dangle. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop sighing and I'll start sharing. So what I've been <clears throat> up to, you can hear my voice is not all right. Last last week on Monday, it was Labor Day here in Finland. And I went with my husband to Rajamäki, to the old yeast factory, uh, where was a lovely wool market. There were several sellers from all over Finland and Johanna from Yellow Villa. Finnish yarn dyer, she dyes Finnish sheep wool. <laughs> if you if you if you're a <laughs> regular viewer, you have seen her yarn on my podcast. I knit quite a lot with it. I love it. So uh, she invited me to take part, and I went. And I, it was it was so much fun. It was so fun, and I talked so much that on the way back I lost my voice. Actually, in the evening we came home. And I couldn't talk. I just lost my voice. <laughs> I wasn't ill or anything. It just, it was gone. And I had upper registry. Like, I could do the high sounds, but I could not do any of the low sounds. And now when I still talk a lot, it, it keeps disappearing. Now you can hear. I've been talking. It was all, It has been all right. And now when I started talking, it's disappearing again. So, <laughs> and I... It was missing for almost a week. And I had another yarn event on a Saturday. I was just keeping everything crossed that my voice would come back. And it did. I woke up on a Saturday morning. We were about to leave. It was four in the morning, night here. And I had my voice back. And I was like, oh my God, a miracle happened. But my husband was, was having fun. He was saying I sound like a cartoon chipmunk. Because I was. I could talk like this. <laughs> and yeah. And the lowers were, were gone completely. I couldn't get a sound yeah, out of myself. And I don't know. Uh, but it was worth of it. I saw so many lovely people. And I did not have much time to shop. But I did manage to buy a couple of things very quickly. Because my customers kept me busy. First three hours, I couldn't even leave my corner. My husband took a picture where I'm just trapped in a corner, surrounded by people, and we're talking about yarn. <laughs> we're talking about yarn. What if I would insert some footage now? Because I have a lot of footage. I have footage from two events, and then a bit more, and all kind of things. Because if I put it all at the end, it will be just a lot of footage without with just music over. Let's go... Let's go look at my first event in a Triamaki. So now <laughs> we are going to Triamaki. I'm all dressed up for Papo. There is Demo. <laughs> um, and we're leaving from Kotka.
enjoyed that. That was the footage from my first event. Uh, and now I will show you my purchases and acquisitions. So we're combining now knit and chat and purchases and acquisitions because because I bought yarn. I have a I have a bucket of yarn here. Don't judge me. This is judgment free zone. <laughs> I can do whatever I want with my <laughs> with my money. Now the thing is that it's been tough on all of us. And my yarn buying budget has been limited, so I mostly try to buy yarn at events. A bit shopping online, just a teeny bit, but I want to support my fellow makers and I love their stuff and I always buy from people who whose work I love. Of course I bought... No, let's start with not yarn. Let's start. It's crinkly. It's crinkly. I bought some fiber. I bought some fiber from Rova Silmo Silmo. She was hoping that she could take this home, <laughs> her own fiber, but I took it from her. I bought it from her because I bought two because I always buy these single skeins and I was thinking if I have 200 grams, I can make already maybe a shawl or a summer top or something. Anyway, 200 grams is better than 100 grams. And this is 70% merino and 30% silk. And it's in this beautiful lavender color. And I just, just love it so much. So I bought, I bought two bags of fiber. And it's crinkling. Where do I put it? There. From Rova Silmo Salmo Finish Dyer. And then I bought... Ooh. Let's, let's switch. Let's take this up. <laughs> I, I emptied the basket, sold my own yarn and filled it with yarn by another people. And then I picked a, just a fun mini skein into my mini collection. Because I have depleted my mini collection. It's empty. I have a very small amount of minis left and that's not good. What if I want to knit some, some crazy blanket <laughs> soon? I have a couple of blankets going, but yeah. So that's my purchase from Rova Silmo Solmo. <clears throat> Then I went to Yellow Villa, Johanna Yellow Villa. I had to get some sock yarn because I just recently gifted a skein from my stash to Selma, <laughs> Yellow Villa, and I needed to replace. I needed a replacement, and these were so delicious. These are like, like candies in a candy store, and they don't have a name. They are just one of a kind. And I love them so much, both of them. My favorite socks are knit with finished sheep wool and this one is thinner, this one is thicker, this one is 270 grams and this one is 230 grams, meters, meters woman, not grams. Yeah, there is a logo, this is Oinas and this is Passy and the colors are delicious. And then another thing, I, sh I went twice, I went twice and then I told her not to sell me any more yarn. I could not pass on this. I don't know. I have some lavender, lilac lavender theme going on. It's my lilac lavender period. I read once somewhere that it's a sign of getting older when you start enjoying these lilac -y lavender signs because your eye changes. There is a scientific proof to that. <laughs> your eye changes and these start to look more appealing to you because when I was younger I did not like these colors at all and now I'm obsessed with them look at me look at me I'm yeah I got a sweater quantity and I already have a plan it's a sport weight it's a sport weight and it's a lamb's wool and it's it's it's, it's lamb's wool it's it's beautiful and I love it so much the color is lampy I have a sweater quantity of this it's Enzio and it's yeah, it's a single ply sport weight, but I would I would think it knits up as DK. 100% finish lamb's wool and my voice goes. <laughs> I love it so much. So there. And then I was next my booth was next to a ceramic studio. And ceramics is one of my weaknesses. I also shopped twice. No judgment. No judgment here. Because I just had to. I bought myself a moth dish. 
come on, a moth dish. I hope that's the only moth in my craft room. No other, other moth allowed. And yeah, it's going to be my stitch marker dish. I will put it somewhere here nicely and just loved it so much. I bought this. And then Johanna, Johanna from Yellow Villa bought one of these. And of course, I had to be a copycat and I had to get one of these as well. It's a, it's a yarn lady. It's a <laughs> oh my god, I almost dropped it. <sighs> Calm down, woman. All good, all good. It's a, it's a beautiful yarn lady. And this one spoke to me. We were all supposed to find our own <laughs> self-portraits. And that's, that's mine. That's mine. Mine has pink hair. And I love that face expression, so there. Can you, can you see it behind it? Does it focus? Yes, I hope it focuses. And I have a plan of putting it on a wall. You can wear it as a pendant, but I think it's it's too fragile. And I will I will put it on a wall. I have other little things that I was planning to put on a wall. I actually have them there, but I want to move them somewhere here. Okay, I haven't decided yet where, but... It's by Petunia Ceramics, and I will link her Instagram down below. This was fun. This was fun little purchase, and it's going up on a wall. It's like a little piece of art. My voice is disappearing. I should probably wrap it up, but I still have things to talk about. I still have a lot of things to talk about. Um, those are not all my purchases and acquisitions. I have some more, because... There was a Patreon shop update for of the knitted in yarn, knitted in yarn, and there was. I planned not to buy anything, but I I saw the colors and I couldn't resist. I bought two sweater quantities of knitted in. I just had. To. When I show you the colors, you you will know why. I just had. To. I bought pecan. 300 grams of each. Okay, it's not that much yarn. I have knit my Myra weights a ton, so I can buy more yarn. I don't have the rules. I'm a grown-up woman. I can decide how much yarn I need. I need it all. <laughs> okay, but I just had to. I just, I just had to get it. Because of this color. But actually, this is what this was not the main. This was not my main purchase, but like not the reason why I, I had to get some, but I love this. I love this. I want the sweater in this. I was thinking, love note, R another ranunculus. <laughs> How many ran ranunculuses in a nudie den can a person have? I have one. I still think I have space for one more. Or maybe a love note. I don't know, but I have 300 grams of it. So that's one. They had a special birthday blend and I just had to I just had to get their special birthday blend. It's called Önska. No idea how you pronounce it. I don't speak Swedish, unfortunately. Yet. I'm planning to learn, but when I'm old, old, and, old and tired. <laughs> old and retired, yeah. Um, I don't know. Will the camera pick up all the changes? But the blend of colors is insane in this. I'm so in love. They have put all the delicious colors in it. I have a I have a lot of small plates there in the bag. It's stuffed full, but look at those colors. I just uh the their uh, public update was I think today. So, there is a chance there they still have some left. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. No, was it today or yesterday? Anyway, Anyway, it was just recently. Yeah, I already got mine because I, I shopped from the Patreon uh, update and... <sighs> this is so delicious. Or do I want a love note in this? I don't know, but I want a sweater. I want a sweater in this. And I'm thinking, should I knit it with just one strand? That it would be very thin and airy. I have not decided yet. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna... I know it's gonna be some sort of sweater. But yeah. 
And I forgot to grab one more thing because I wanted to talk about my dream knitting. And it's a magazine and it's in the living room now. Give me a second. Okay. I'm back and I have a magazine with me. You wonder why? Why am I going to be show why am I going to be showing you a Finnish magazine? <laughs> I very rarely buy magazines, but this was half price. And I wanted a pattern from this magazine by Anna Johanna. Um Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> that that's how that's how I am here lately dream knitting we're talking about dream knitting here here it is tada ruku trivissa ruku puutarha pussero it's it's this garden sweater and I, I I want it I need it I even have a yarn for it. I have all the yarn except the yarn for for the pots, for the flower pots. I have a base yarn. I have uh, the green color changing yarn. I don't have a yarn for pots, but I think I can figure something out. It's knit in sports weight. It's patterned by Anna Johanna. It's now in this magazine, but Anna Johanna said that it will be later available as individual download. I think, yeah, there is some time that the magazine has the rights and then she can publish it independently. Uh, but I thought $4.95. Anyway, pattern is going to be more expensive, so I'm just going to get it now and save some money because I want I want to knit it. I want to knit. So, <laughs> that. Those are all my, almost all my purchases and acquisitions. I got a gift. I got a gift when I went to the second yarn event. Second yarn event was in Pieksamäki, which is in a different part of Finland. And there I went last Saturday. <sighs> Luckily, my voice came back. And there I met with uh, Heli, Helga Mamma on Instagram. She's been, she's been a long, long-term knitting friend, and she got me a couple of things. She got me yarn, which I don't have here with me, and the, I have stitch markers here with me. And she got me that cute fox card. She just brought me gifts. People bring me gifts. I'm <laughs> I'm spoiled. Um, lovely little spring-themed stitch markers. They are so cute. There's some little flower and all kind of things. So I love myself some good stitch markers. There's a honey pot and a little bee and a little flower and a little fox. A lot of little things. I love them. And she gave me a skein of sock yarn, which I don't have here. Okay. Anyway, that that's it. That's it. That's it. Recording purchases, acquisitions, happy mail. And it's so funny on a card she wrote in behind happy mail. <laughs> Kita's heli. Uh, and it was very nice to meet and chat and yeah, we had a blast. I have had very fun week, except the middle of the week because Sophia was unwell. Sophia was, it changed all my plans and I was very afraid that I won't be able to even go on a Saturday. But luckily she was all right by the end of the week and mother-in-law came, came here overnight to watch the kids because we were leaving like at half past four in the morning. It was a long drive for us. And... Uh, then we had a very nice weekend with my husband because we stayed the night there at that place where where we had the yarn event we it was a good decision because nobody was in a condition to drive back it was just i don't know we both were very tired and it did very good for us Pieksamäki is a lovely small town and we it was my first time visiting it. It, it was a nice place. Um, the venue was was very impressive. The uh, it was built into old um, <clears throat> old what is it? How do you call it? Like a like a <laughs> no, it's not. There is a word for it. Give me a second. Like a train, it wasn't a train station, it's the place where you, where they stored trains, 
when they weren't in use. Like, a, it's not a dock. It's not a, like a hall. I don't know. Like a historic, historically. How do you call a place? I know a word. There is a word. And I know it. And now I'm... I'm missing it. <laughs> it's not in a it's not in a file. <laughs> anyway. So the place for the trains, it it was like old very tall red brick building and then inside the, they built a venue and it the place was beautiful, amazing and I met some lovely people. It it was a bit more quiet event than the previous one and it was all right because I I had time to knit and chat and then we went to eat, we ate, and we went to our hotel. It wasn't really a hotel, it was like a guest house, but very nice place. It was it was beautiful. It was beautiful little house, pink house. I have a footage. What what I, let's watch now. Let's let's watch the footage now. Watch the, the watch the footage now and then I'll chat some more. Okay. <laughs> let's let's go to Piaxamaki together.
<laughs> that was a little video clip from our trip. And it was amazing. The ho that hotel, I'll call it the hotel, a guest house. It was beautiful. We had a nice little cozy room and... Yeah, what we did after the event, yeah, we went to eat, then we went to store, got 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 some snacks, came back to the room, watched a bit of... Um, we didn't watch more, we watched some episodes, I think, from Disney+. Plus. Uh, and then... And then we fell asleep, half past eight. <laughs> it was amazing! <laughs> I know, not very exciting, but... Like, we went for a walk, and it was just so long day, and... I had the best sleep in in weeks <laughs> in there. And then we woke up in the morning, we had breakfast and we started driving towards home and it was lovely. It was just very quiet weekend just with my husband and we needed. It felt like vacation almost. <laughs> and yeah, we did a bit of work, but after that it it was lovely. Greatly appreciated. Who knew? I'm at that age where, where a good nap is better than a good party. <laughs> I, I really needed that. And yeah, because Sophia was un unwell and I did not sleep much in that previous week. And it was just it was very good, very relaxing evening. I know, kind of wasted an evening. I didn't even knit in a hotel. I took my knitting bag with me and I didn't knit a stitch. I didn't even pull out my knitting. I was just... Yeah, that tired. Uh, so, what else? What else? I've been, I've been working. I've been working this whole week. Uh, on Monday, I was having a bit of a bad day, and then I decided that okay, it's time for a change. And I want to change everything. I want to change everything in my store. And I just started. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't alone. <laughs> I had an accomplice, Taya, a <laughs> lady that's now helping me in the store. <laughs> lady, a young woman, <laughs> girl. We're all girls. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 70. We're all we're all girls here. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I mentioned earlier to her that I would like to move a couple of shelves around, and then on Monday she was like, no. When do you want to move those shelves? I was like, now. But I don't want to move them. I want to rip the old shelves out and move things around. And just we, we did that, just two of us. We didn't even have any tools because I wasn't planning it. I wasn't prepared. So I had like a hand screwdriver and hammer and <laughs> just, I changed everything in, in my store this week. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just like that. When you're in the bad mood, move furniture. It's free and you can always put it back if you don't like it. I kind of like the change. I, I have a bit of footage, yeah. You can probably see it now <laughs> as I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I did this week. And I'm very happy. It, give me a, it gave me a nice fresh start. I, I feel refreshed. And it took my bad mood away because I was feeling down because everybody's having a bit tough times around here lately. And I just needed a bit of a boost, a bit of a change. And moving stuff around doesn't doesn't cost anything. <laughs> I do the same thing at home sometimes, but it's a bit harder at home. But still, I manage to move furniture around. <laughs> my husband asks from me quite often, can you be a normal person? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> can't. Uh, this, was, this is what keeps me sane. Yeah, that's how I deal with my bad mood. <laughs> I move furniture or I knit something. I cast on things and I move furniture. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and I claimed my die space back because I closed one part of the store and joined it back to the die space because I need more I need more space for work for when I'm dying yarn. It was a bit small and uncomfortable and now I have more more space to work, more space to breathe. I'm I'm claiming my my own space back. Because it is my it is my dye studio and that's that's where I need space the most. <clears throat> so what else? This morning this morning was very unusual as well. Um uh, because 
we had a little picnic with Sophia's school. We went to the park to have an early Mother's Day celebration. Mother's Day is coming this Sunday in Finland. We're going to celebrate Mother's Day. And yeah, we had a small celebration with Sophia's school. It was lovely. We walked around, we did some fun things, and then we sat down for a little snack all together. Um, there were a lot of kids, like four buses of kids, two big buses, two small buses of kids just pulled into the biggest park in Kotka and then spread across. <laughs> uh, I have a bit of footage from this morning as well, and I will add it somewhere. Somewhere I will add it and... I had a blast. It was it was a bit challenging time-wise. It was first thing in the morning and I realized I I'm again in the place where I need to be at, in two places at the same time and I need to pick and I chose to be a mother <laughs> this morning. Yeah, I always choose to be a mom. My kids my kids come first before everything else. So I chose to be a mom this morning and told my husband look now I am a normal person <laughs> everything else after afterwards and yeah it was very nice I really enjoyed it and so early Mother's Day celebration and I don't know what else probably something else but I feel like I have been just talking and talking and I'm losing my voice slowly and this video is gonna be very long I feel it's gonna be over an hour long with with everything else, but I haven't seen you in two weeks. You can watch it in parts. You don't have to watch it in one sitting. <laughs> and I know some of you enjoy longer videos and now I'm losing light because it's evening. I need to go and start dinner. I have no idea what we're having for dinner tonight and I still need to edit this when the kids go to bed. <sighs> <laughs> yeah and I need to go check what are they doing outside it's been surprisingly quiet I think my husband needs help with putting knitting on a trampoline summer came spring spring came spring summer we have summer weather right now and they are out in a t-shirts and I'm I'm hot in this I need to change I need to go change into something lighter and go visit outside Tomorrow I'm planning to go to the greenhouses to get some flowers, more flowers for the yard. I planted some, but it always feels like not enough flowers. And the greenhouse season, like a nursery, like a, we call them greenhouses or like a nursery where you can pick plants. I go to the local one that's right near my store, like a couple of streets away from my store. Yeah, supporting local businesses. Um, so that's, that's my plan for tomorrow and then probably do some, something outside and knit a bit. I want to, I want to cast something on for Mother's Day. I have a plan. I have a plan for this, this yarn, but I will tell you if it works out. <laughs> uh, if it works out, I might cast on this because it's just so lovely and it's sheepy. It smells divine. It's, you know, I sniff yarn and if it's, if it doesn't smell like sheep, that's not right. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back <laughs> to spend your time with me. <sighs> it was nice to sit down and chat with you and I hope there won't be that long breaks anymore. So why I didn't record last week? Because I lost my voice. I had no voice. It's a bit hard to record when you when you sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> Cartoon chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that anybody would want to watch that. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up now and I'm going to go and I'm wishing you all a lovely weekend. And if you're celebrating Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all moms, sisters, grandmas, uh, stepmoms, best friends, everybody, everybody who is a mother figure. Yeah, you don't have to give birth to to be a, somebody's mother. I'm, I'm, I know that for sure. Um, so to all the mom figures out there, happy Mother's Day and 
happy knitting and I will see you hopefully next week. Hopefully everybody stays well. My voice, my voice is here and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And my mom is coming next week. My mom is coming next week. Keep your fingers crossed that that goes well. Yeah, she hasn't been here since Christmas and I... I miss her very much and we're gonna we're gonna celebrate Mother's Day next week as well. <laughs> because she told me not to not to order her anything because she's leaving anyways. I always order her flower delivery when I can't be with her or I send her a package. I didn't send her a package this this time because she's coming here. <laughs> uh, and she told me not to get flowers because she will be too sad to leave them there. I was thinking about potted flowers, but she, she forbid me. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna get her flowers when she gets here. We can, yeah, figure something out. Okay, I'm chatting again. I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm, <laughs> I'm on a high rounds here. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, pa. <laughs> like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.